Today's video is a quick Canva tutorial to give you everything you need to know to get started in Canva. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. Welcome back to another video. Now I made this video because a few of you have expressed to me that you don't know how to get started in Canva or you feel overwhelmed with all the tools and functions of Canva. Well, this is going to be a quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to share with you some Canva basics plus some additional Canva features to help you get started designing in Canva. So whether you want to get started creating digital products or start creating graphics for your small business, that this tutorial is for you. Let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. To get started in Canva, you want to sign up for a free account. To sign up, all you need is an email and you can log in to your Canva account. After you sign up for your Canva account, it's going to bring you to the Canva homepage and you have a few options on getting started creating your design. In this top area, you have the search bar. You can search for whatever type of document or template that you want to customize and edit. You can also use these menu options here below the search bar. This will also take you to the Canva template library to start searching for different templates that you may want to customize. In this next section, you have a few options to start creating designs. It gives you the size that you need and you can just start creating one from scratch if you don't want to use a template. And once you start creating designs in Canva, you will see your recent designs here at the bottom of the page. So to get started, you can go to the top right hand corner and click on the purple create a design button. Again, it's going to give you a list of options of designs that you may want to create. And one of the best things about Canva is that they have already created the size and dimensions for whatever it is that you want to create. So you don't have to guess the size you can be confident that you already have the exact size. If you don't see what you want listed, there is a search bar here as well, and you can type what you want to create and it will populate some results for you. So for this tutorial, we're going to create an Instagram post. It's going to open up the Canva editor. Right now we have a blank page. We need to go over to the side panel. The side panel is going to be your best friend. You are going to be able to find templates and all the different elements that you need to create and customize a design. Canva has an extensive template library that you can choose from. Canva has an extensive template library for you to choose from. Just keep in mind if you are using a Canva free account, you're not able to use any of the Canva Pro templates or elements unless you have a Canva Pro account. This is a recent change that Canva just implemented. Um, so if you try to use a template that is designated with the crown logo, it's going to prompt you to upgrade to the Canva Pro account. If you want to try Canva Pro free for 30 days, I will leave my affiliate link down in the description box. You can use the search feature to search for different types of templates that you may want to design. I'm going to search for a testimonial and it's going to give me all the different templates that are available with the keyword testimonial. You can also search for certain colors and other industry and themes for your templates. Once you find a template that you want to use, you simply click on the template and it's gonna add it to your blank page. Now you've added your template, now it's time to customize. The first thing that you may wanna customize may be the font. You just need to highlight the text and the text toolbar will appear here at the top. To change the font style, you want to click on the drop down menu. Canva will give you a few recommended fonts that you can choose from. If you recently used any font styles, it will show that as well. And again, if you see the crown logo, that font is only available with the Canva Pro account. But don't worry, Canva still has tons of free fonts that you can choose from. To change the font size, you can use the plus or the minus keys here on the side here to change the font size of your text. If you want to change the font color, you want to select the letter A. This is the text color option. You click on that. And the great thing about Canva is that they already put together a color palette from that template that you're using. So you don't have to search for colors. But if you want to add your own colors, you can click on the plus button to add your colors. If you have your hex code, you can paste it here. Or you can move this little circle around until you find the color that you may want to use. If you're using any images, Canva will also pull a color palette from that image. So to change the color, you just simply click on the color that you want to change it to and you can change your font 
to that color. Canva has this cool change all features. So if I click on this, it will change all of my font to that font color that I just selected. And not all of my font has been changed. Now I know you're saying that you can't see this, but I do plan to change the background color. So to change the background color, I wanna click on a blank space and the purple highlight is now around the full template. That's how I know that my background is selected. Then I'm gonna to go to this color square and I'm gonna change the color to a darker color. And now I have a new look for my template. And to change out the actual text, you just simply highlight the text. And again, you know it's highlighted when you see the purple box and you simply just type it what you want to change it to. To add photos to your design, you have a few options. You wanna go to the side panel and you wanna click the upload tab and you can click on this upload button to upload directly from your computer. If you click the three dots next to that, you have a few additional options where you can upload photos from. You can also just drag and drop photos directly into Canva. And if you ever make a mistake and wanna make a change, you can simply go to the top here and click undo. If you want to change this photo, what you need to do is find your photo that you want to use and just drag it into place and now the photo has been changed now let's talk about elements elements are stock photos stock videos illustrations and graphics shapes and lines and you can use all of these different elements to further customize your design to find your elements you want to make sure that you have the element tab selected and you can just scroll through to find different elements that you may want to use now some elements are again only available with the canva pro account so the next thing i want to customize here are the stars and i want to change them to a yellow color to make them stand out on this template so i'm going to select the star i'm going to go to the top and select the color square and i'm just going to go to the bottom here and select this yellow and again i'm going to use the change all feature to change all of my stars to yellow now let's talk about grouping elements grouping allows you to move elements as a single unit so right now all of the stars are showing as individual stars so if i wanted to group them i would highlight all of my stars and then i would select group from the menu that pops up here and i'll group the stars and now if i wanted to move the stars to a different area of my template i'm able to do that you can group any elements and move them around in a unified manner if you wanted to ungroup them again you want to make sure that they're what you selected is highlighted and then just simply hit ungroup so once you're done designing and customizing your template and you really like the template you can actually duplicate your template by simply clicking on a duplicate page and all you would need to do is just switch out the image and the text and now you have multiple instagram posts that you can use and the last thing that you want to do is to actually download and share your design. The first step is to change the name of your design by clicking in the box here at the top. This will be very helpful with keeping your designs organized. So you want to just make sure that you have a name for this. And then once you're ready to download, you want to click on the share button in the top right hand corner. You want to click on download. Canva will always recommend the best file type for you to download your design. It changes depending on the type of document that you are designing in Canva. Here are some pro features that are available. And then you can also select which page that you want to download. You can download all the pages or an individual page. When you are downloading images and all the images are selected, is going to download in a zip file. If you don't want a zip file, you just want to select unselect all and just select the page that you want to download, hit done and hit download. And now your Canva design is ready to be shared. Now you have a better understanding of the Canva basis. I want to encourage you to go out and start using Canva and also to take some time to start practicing Canva. The more you practice, the better you're going to get at creating designs in Canva and the more confident you're going to feel about your designs that you create using Canva. To help you get a little bit more practice, check out the Canva tutorial that is on your screen. If you found this tutorial useful, let me know by hitting the like button and make sure that you leave me your Canva questions in the comments. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.